Hello there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to make a card based on one of the colorways in the Pantone Color Expressions. I recently talked about the palette expressions on Pantone's website where they announced their classic blue color and they gave us some color ideas to go with it. And I decided to get out the dragon set. I've made a video with the little girl and the dragon drinking a cup of tea. And this time they're going to be flying through the air. And I'm going to link you to that video as well as the Pantone one for this chart at the end of this. But this is the colorway that I'm going to use, which is Ponder. It doesn't have any of the kinds of colors I would normally choose for a card like this. So I picked out the colors in the colorway as well as some others to go with them so I could have some shading, etc. I cut out a mask from some masking paper and then started doing the airbrushing. And I had this vision to make them flying through the sky till they almost reached the stars. You've seen that probably in movies with dragons when they fly through the sky. And even though it's daytime, once you get past a certain level of clouds, you just see the night sky up there. And that may not be scientifically true, but it's true in movies. So I am going to do it because I have the power to. So there you go. I'm using my Copic airbrush, which is a system where you attach a Copic marker inside of this little gun that attaches a, in addition to a compressor that's sitting on the ground. And you turn that on and it blows air across the marker onto the surface of the paper. It actually uses less ink to ink a big area like this than it does if you're going back and forth with a marker. So it's one of the reasons why I do like it quite a bit. If I ever learn enough about airbrush and if I figure out a way that I can actually teach it that's going to be helpful, I will offer a class. But right now I'm still learning on how to do it, how to make it consistent. You can see mine tend to look like clouds because I'm not very consistent with my airbrushing. So there you go. The dragons I decided to make into brown dragons. If you've ever seen the movie How to Train Your Dragon, they have dragons that are all kinds of neutral colors. Lots of different shades of them and I thought I've never made a brown dragon before. Every time I color one of these kinds of fantastical creatures, I tend to go for more crazy colors and happy cartoony types of colors. And this one I decided I wanted to try doing something a little more naturalistic with my my colors and see if I could do the browns because that colorway challenged me to do something different. And that's one of the things about just picking a colorway and then trying to see what you can do with it. It may make you think about things in a different way. And I started thinking about how I always color creatures like this the same kind of way. And this is going to be interesting to see what the feel overall of the whole card is by the time I'm done because it's not going to feel like a cartoony one necessarily. It's going to feel a little more illustri illustrative, illustrative, illustrative. There you go. So I'm just rotating through the different browns that I have, putting the darks on the top of the dragon and the lights under his belly, like he's being lit up from the clouds below. And I'm going to put some texture into him, which is why I had that really nice, rich, dark color on him, because I wanted to have enough color to push some some shapes into to create the scales on him. But I'm going to get my little girl colored, put some shadows on her hair and that sort of thing. Now, when you're doing a colorway, you could choose a different way to go with this. You could go with a daytime sky because there is a light blue in the colorway and then use instead the classic blue for her shirt. And it's still using the colorway because you're just using them in different proportion. And I chose instead to use the classic blue for the big background and the lighter blue for her shirt. So you can flip things around. Maybe your whole card is mostly brown and it's going to have a pop of blue somewhere. There's just a, an infinite number of ways to combine all that. So I used an E51 to create those scales once I got all the dimension and everything done in the dragon itself and then added of course my white highlights with a pen for the stars and then I put a few little sparkles onto the dragon scales 
so that I can make them look a little bit on the magical side. And when the ink is wet, if you rub your finger over it a little bit, you can soften it and smooge it just a little bit so it's not as harsh and sharp. The finishing of the card, I continued the colorway by using two different craft colored papers. One is lighter, one is darker. The lighter one for the layer and the darker one for the card base so that the whole thing kind of worked together. Over on the MFT channel is another of my dragon cards with this one. So there's a link at the end of this video for that as well as the colorways one if you want to color one of those charts yourself and challenge yourself to use a new colorway to you and maybe you'll come up with something interesting as well. If you enjoyed this or learned something from it, please click that like button. It really helps out the channel and you can share it with your friends. I will see you again very shortly with a new video. Bye-bye.